All right, hi guys. Uh, we're gonna do another video here about circles. Uh, this video is gonna be focused on the area of a circle. And area is kind of interesting. Area is when you're trying to measure how many like square units fit inside an object. So like, if I was to cut this circle up into lots and lots of little squares, I'm using my graph paper here. The question is, is how many little squares would fill up the circle? And the strategy I'm using right now of drawing little tiny squares is not going to be a very convenient strategy. And nobody's going to want to sit when you have to find the area of a circle and draw little tiny square units, especially when you're going to get around the edges here where you're going to get all these like partial little squares and you're going to have to estimate how many square units is in there. So it's kind of complicated. Area is just this like square unit space inside. Square unit space inside. And remember why we use area. Like a lot of times like we use the example of like carpeting a room. If you had to order carpet to put brand new carpet in like your bedroom, you would order it by square unit. That's what they're going to ask you at the store. You probably don't have a circular bedroom, but you never know. You might need to find the area of a circle for some purpose. So what we do instead of doing this strategy of drawing little tiny squares is we use a formula. And real simply put, circles are always these interesting things. It always comes down to the number pi. Pi at is 3.14 decimal. Remember, it's like 3.1415, on and on and on. It's this decimal that never ends. So for some reason, this weird little number, this 3.14 number, always has a relationship to this circle. And for area, here's the relationship. If you take pi and times it by the radius squared, it will give you the exact calculation of these little squares inside. It's kind of fascinating when you really think about it. So in this circle, the radius is the center to the edge. That, that's the radius of a circle. So uh, let's try using the formula. And I guess the big thing is, is you might put a box around this in your notes. If you memorize this formula, you'll really be able to calculate the area of any circle. So it's a, it's a very helpful formula. So we're going to try using it. We're going to do an example here. And for our first example, I'm going to tell you that I have a circle and it measures across with a diameter of, we're going to say, 8 inches. And I want to know what's the area of this circle. So when you tell me I want to know what's the area, I automatically write the formula down. Area equals pi r squared. Truly it's a formula you should memorize. It's one of those ones that just could, should stick in your head. Pi r squared. And in this problem, r, my radius, well, isn't exactly given to me. I'm given the diameter is 8. My radius is only going to be half the diameter. So my radius is 4 inches across, and then this is the other part of the The two radii together make the 8-inch diameter. So for my substitution purpose, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change radius into 4 inches. And I'm going to rewrite this formula. I'm going to write area equals pi times 4 squared. Now 4 squared, remember what that means. That's 4 times 4. That would be 16, so area is equal to 16 pi. And if I didn't have a calculator, I would probably stop right here and say 16 pi is my answer because I, I can't really do much past that. But if I do have a calculator, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 16 and I'm going to times it by 3.14. Of course, remember I'm already now rounding. 3.14 is not actually the full pi number. It's 3.1415 blah, 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 blah. It just keeps on going. So what I'm going to show is that I rounded my answer. I'm going to use that squiggly equal sign again to say, well, it's about 50.24 in measurement. About 50.24. And my units, I need units in this problem, were measured in inches. But this is area. So remember how area works. What we just calculated is that there are about 50 squares of inches, inch squares that fit inside this circle. So when we do our units, that's how we write our units, that it's inches squared. It's, it's a measurement of those squares that fit inside the circle. So be sure when you're doing area not to forget units squared. And then I'm going to write that down here, units squared, the little squares that fit inside the circle. So if you watched the, the previous video that I posted earlier on circumference, this is a very similar process. It involves formula, numbers, answer. I, I'm always looking for kind of three steps. Do you know the formula? Can you substitute in the numbers? Can you get the correct answer? 
with units squared. So kind of a, like I said, like a three-step process. So uh, to end our video here, what I'd like you to do is I would like you to try one on your own and see if you can do it. So example two. And for this last one, I'm going to tell you I have a circle. It's kind of a weird looking circle, but that's okay. And it has a radius that is equal to three centimeters. And I want to know what's the area of this circle. Could you pause the video and try it on your own, see if you can do this correctly? Okay, so hopefully you've paused the video, but now I'm going to show you the steps of formula. Area equals pi r squared. Numbers. Well, r in this problem is 3. So area equals pi times 3 squared. 3 squared. 3 times 3 is 9. So area equals 9 pi. Area is going to be about equal to 9 times 3.14. 3.14. So about 28.26. And my units are in centimeters. And because these are the little tiny, tiny little square units that fit inside of here, this is centimeters squared. And that is my answer. Formula, numbers, answer. Three-step process. Okay, so I hope that helps. Keep looking for more videos. I'm going to post some other videos about how to reverse this process.